Hey, YouTubers! Where are you? YouTubers! Where are you? Hey! Anybody there? <laughs> What's up, gang? Hi, everybody from the world. I'm going to be uh, jogging three miles. That ain't nothing, really, but I'm going to do a little more later my shoulders messed up yet and I, I can't do any calisthenics i love doing that but i mean i, I gotta do a lot more jogging running i'd rather do like an ultra uh marathon i don't really need to compete though i, I love training without even having to um i don't need to race against anybody but i mean yeah if you want to prove that i entered a competition but i don't need to be uh, competitive or have to have a trophy in order to be happy I just like to feel good and strong and healthy and um, so where I am today <clears throat> it's August 6th I'm at Steep Rock Preserve in Washington Connecticut uh, <clears throat> it's a beautiful area to go uh, either uh, bicycle while well, you could go jogging hiking um, cycling mountain a little, in some areas, like for mountain bike, not much for that really, as far as the trails. And people with equestrian, with horses, could go uh, riding, horseback riding. They got a corral, and you could openly uh, take your horses around. Um, but I'm just uh, letting you know, you know, I, I'm an optimist, realist, and. There goes a few people running right now, and I'll be uh, I'll be doing my jogging too. Um, I'd really like to do at least 10 miles a day, like five days a week, or at least 50 miles a week, as far as jogging. Um, like I was saying, but I like David Goggins his way. I like I've done like um, 13 miles for a day I mean I could go way longer as far as what I've done this year as far as jogging distance wise um, I just like keep you know I break it up in quarters it depends what you got for schedule you know your time utilize your time and uh, so it depends on each individual but I think it's really important um, to uh, you know, say you want to do 10 miles in a day, why can't you just do four ten, two and a half mile runs or two five mile runs morning and evening, you know, um, to put the mileage on. No matter what, it's going to be added up. It all accumulates. It's all beneficial. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't, uh, as long as down the road eventually later on this year I get my heart rate back, and in the 40s, I'd rather get it in the high 30s would be really good. I know I could because I had it before in the mid 30s when I was real heavy, 220 pounds. And I was doing cardiovascular. So, I mean, I was damn fit. And I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, I didn't look to get any trophies or compete, but I mean, I did high volume calisthenics and everything. I just felt like Superman. Um... And wanted to do MMA, but I, I don't do enough Muay Thai. My shin bones and stuff like that aren't thick enough. I'd bust them. But I don't know. I still might. You're never too old. I, I just turned 50 about not quite a week ago. And um, But, you know, I think it's important no matter who you are, what's your age brackets. I mean, you could be way older and be fit as ever. I seen on, uh, I don't know if it was the Guinness Book of Records or a guy was from Japan. He hiked up. Mount Everest, 73 years young, so, and then I seen on, um, recently on the American Idol guy, there was a 54-year-old guy and his partner, a friend, they've been training, doing these strongman type feats with just their body weight for 14 years, and his partner was 84 years old, his, it's on, you'd have to go look on, um, American Idols or the talent, um, channels and stuff but um that's remarkable what he did i mean the the 54 year old was laying down and he picked up kept balance from the very bottom and managed to get himself up while uh 
with one arm and holding up the other his partner or that he's been training with and I don't know what his partner weighs I don't know if he's 150 140 but the bigger guys a lot heavier but still it's still remarkable feet I mean I, I couldn't do it and I'm, I mean I'm 50 I'm not old I don't think either but uh about five months ago I was able to do 400 consecutive push-ups and I don't really put no videos now I'm injured I gotta get my my shoulder fixed it's messed up but no I mean I'm all good I mean positive you know you gotta do something you know I'm not in a wheelchair and even if you are you can work out if you got your hands you know you're not a, um, totally immobile and you could do some kind of training so my shoulder upper body's messed up what do I do I can jog, I could walk, I could hike. I mean, there's a million things you can do, um, even with the shoulder issue, all kinds of stuff. I could do, oh, well, I could do ab work. I should, but I've done so much ab work. It's um, not like Herschel Walker. That guy's a, a freak. And I don't mean it in, a, in an, an offense, but in a positive manner. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just waiting for my medication to kick in. Otherwise, if I don't, my sugar goes high, and then I'll go down. So I'm just waiting. I had to wait like I gotta wait like another 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna go, go for my my uh, my jog. But yeah, when you got goals, attain your goals, or write down everything you do. That's what I did. I mean, doing my high volume calisthenics routine, it worked out fabulous for me. Uh, I never expected I was going to get my heart resting heart rate in the 30s. I wasn't really trying. I mean, I was putting a huge amount of effort and work um, doing all this this conditioning. It's really a rest, wrestling conditioning training is what I was doing. Just I didn't have a partner all the time. But if I could do it, you could do it. You got that? So, and if you're an MMA guy, god damn, man. I, I had mine low when Bisbing... Well, they were bragging, you know, his was 34, and he was over, he's like 200 and was 205 or something, 208. Well, freaking A, man, I'm a type 1 diabetic. I'm not doing what he's doing with the run. I mean, with the, I wasn't doing a high volume running, but I rope skip like a fanatic, man, doing circuit training with, with uh, shit. I don't know. I got to look at my records in my notebooks. I have like six, seven notebooks, but I've done, um, like I do, when I do this circuit training with with uh, Buddy Lee's book, and I would do like a minute calisthenics, and right away I'd rope skip, and then I'd swap it. I would jump rope first for a minute. I would try counting my skips, but it's futile. You can't get. You're never going to be accurate with that way unless you make your own device or there's like a a thing or a laser beam that can count it when you revolve around with the rope, jump rope. It's impossible. And so what I found out, I just go by how I feel and what my resting heart rate is. And, um, yeah, I mean, that worked phenomenal. I, I think I did maybe almost up to 15,000 skips. I got to check. Maybe that's what, that sounds like a huge amount. And then I was doing calisthenics. This is within an hour of my routine. I would sometimes I'd do an hour and a half of this straight, continuous. I wouldn't take minutes off between my work my, doing this. It would be like almost, uh, almost non-stop not quite it'd be no more i'm sorry no more than a half a minute on some of these like they do a bunch of rounds i I call them you know you you do sit ups a special form of ab work for a minute and then right away you jump rope and there's all kinds of special ways you bounce step all these special variations of rope skipping i mean i did it did it almost all of it I didn't bother with the with the power jump where you spin revolve two times you know when you're in the air i should have but I know I don't want to mess up my shoulder. But I would like to eventually get back into rope skip, and I loved it. I mean, you feel so freaking good. And then I could, it was easy for me to jog and then, you know, get quicker running times after, you know, you got to, you know, practice what you want to do the best in, which, you know, if you're going to jog or run, you got to always do that, obviously. But if you think too much, then you, you over, it's overkill and you do the wrong things. You don't want to do that either. But yeah. Don't mind me, I'm in my car, I'm going to be going from my jog, and uh, I hope everybody has an awesome day. And write down what you did for your workout, don't be bashful. If you walked up, walk five miles, good for you. 
I mean, you do what you got to do, you know? Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully maybe I'll get some videos when I get my damn, uh, get my shoulder tuned in. I mean, I could do ones just jogging, running, but there's thousands of people doing that and videos on here. But anyways, good luck, everybody. Have a good workout. I'm going to. Bye.